going up against Cincinnati, team you know well, and division rival. What are the thoughts going into this one? Uh, looking forward to it. You know, uh, watch the game. You know, got a lot of great players over there. So respect the guys. But, you know, come out game time. We'll be ready to go. Did you sense? kind of an edge in this game last year when you played them a couple times beyond maybe some of the other games you played during the season? Honestly, there's an edge every game I play. So, you know, I'm trying to play to the best of my ability, play through the whistle every single play. That's what I pride myself on, and it's just the next opponent on the schedule. Once you had a little time, were you were you able to take some good things away, especially from that last game? I mean, the defense played great overall. You, you, you certainly had a good game. I mean, were there, were there things to pull out and say? That was positive? Uh, you know, we lost at the end of the day. So that's how you uh, weigh things in this league of uh, wins and losses. And we didn't get the job done. So this week, uh, we're not worried about that. We really don't care too much about last year, if I'm being perfectly honest. This is a new year, new team. So we're excited to go out and showcase the world exactly who we are and how we're going to do things. And you have Lamar. I mean, it might seem like an obvious question, but how does that change things with Lamar? against Cincinnati. Oh yeah, it's great. You know, for the offensive side of the ball, you know, it's always great having a guy like Lamar who can do such awesome things with the ball in his hand. But at the end of the day, I'm more focused on the defense and what we're going to do. And that's what I'm looking forward to. Everyone's got a different approach. It seems like you don't, you're not one of the guys that uses a game from last year's motivation. It seems like you just kind of move forward. And is that, is that, is that correct? Oh, like I'm not too worried about them, but like every game I play is personal. Every play I play is personal. So they're going to get what they're going to get. And that's just how I look at it. And that's any any opponent each and every week. I'm going to play the same and through the whistle, fast physical all game long. And if they don't like it, who cares? Their, their offense really struggled in the opener against Cleveland. I mean, do you do you just sort of throw that out and say, well, we assume they'll be better against us? Or I mean, do you look for specifics and say, I mean, that's, maybe that's something we can play off of? Or how, you know, what do you make of that? Uh, that was last week. It's a new week. And you know, this is the NFL. So I'm sure they're going to be pissed off coming into the game, you know, based on their outing from last week. I don't think they scored a touchdown. And, you know, so obviously they're going to try to come out and get some redemption. And we're going to be pissed off as well. So that's how we play. And we're looking forward to it. Roquan, you guys expressed your, your feelings for your teammates who were hurt in the last game. Now it's Wednesday. Can you talk about the shift that has to take place and maybe did take place during practice as you move to the next game without some guys? Yeah, it definitely sucks, you know, uh, having a lot of great guys go down and whatnot. But, you know, the name of this game is next man, next man up, you know, and so we care for those guys, care deeply for those guys, but we got to go put it on our backs and go play for those guys. And it's, we're going to go out and do everything we can uh, and play to the best of our ability. And if we do that, good things will happen.